Materials drive advances in technology. For the auto industry, that means new and improved powertrain materials that make next-generation vehicles cleaner and more efficient. Over 100 million vehicles a year will be manufactured and sold worldwide by 2020. The vast majority of these vehicles will be powered by internal combustion engines. But with federal fuel economy standards on the verge of a historic leap, automakers must dramatically improve engine efficiency by 2025 for vehicles sold in the U.S. Developing engine materials that are both improved and affordable is a formidable challenge that can only be addressed through major investments in research and development. It will take world-class capabilities in materials development combined with public-private partnerships to accelerate solutions. The leaders of the charge to develop the best engine materials will drive the automotive market of the future. The fuel economy of next-generation internal combustion engines can be further improved by as much as 50%, but these cleaner, lighter, and more efficient powertrains will also generate much higher pressures and temperatures. In fact, some of the exhaust temperatures of some downsized turbocharged automotive engines are now approaching those occurring in aircraft turbine engines. Exhaust path materials conventionally used in cars and trucks are limited at these extreme temperatures and pressures, and yet the expensive alloying elements like nickel and cobalt routinely used in aircraft quality materials are difficult for automakers to afford. These extreme materials challenges must be resolved before many advanced technologies can be deployed at acceptable costs. To accelerate progress, the U.S. Department of Energy's Propulsion Materials Program is investing in strategic research that partners national laboratories with the auto and heavy truck industries. Both Oak Ridge and Pacific Northwest National Laboratories have decades of experience in materials research for gasoline and diesel powertrains. World-class tools enable researchers to image materials at the atomic level model complex processes, and predict and measure the combined effects of phenomena like stress, temperature, and corrosion. The national labs are building on their combined knowledge bases in a materials genome effort and are partnering with industry to rapidly develop innovative powertrain material solutions. For example, scientists within Oak Ridge's Propulsion Materials Program are engaged with industry partners to develop new, low-cost, higher-temperature cast aluminum alloys for automotive cylinder heads. Progress has been swift. In less than three years, the new materials have exceeded both property and temperature goals, thanks largely to microstructural and compositional discoveries at Oak Ridge and computational modeling of the alloys with the Titan supercomputer. Oak Ridge has also used an integrated computational materials design approach to develop exhaust valve materials with both improved properties at higher temperatures and lower cost due to reduced nickel and cobalt contents. Other propulsion materials projects are aimed at the next generation pistons, exhaust manifolds, turbochargers, and after treatment materials for both light duty and heavy duty engines. For example, a cast stainless steel developed by Oak Ridge is presently being engine tested by an OEM as a next generation exhaust manifold for heavy duty diesel engines. Oak Ridge is also investigating innovative manufacturing strategies like 3D printing to enable unique designs for select high impact powertrain components. These scientific breakthroughs demonstrate that when connected with national laboratories, U.S. industry can rapidly innovate and deploy new materials technologies that will drive future innovations in energy efficiency. They will help to ensure U.S. leadership and jobs in the transportation market in the decades ahead. Perhaps even more important, the impact of improved powertrain materials on millions of vehicles will significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions for our children and grandchildren. The road to higher transportation efficiency and a healthier future for our nation is paved with nothing less than advanced materials.